in order to put a car into a marketplace, you have to already own the car, right? And if you don't own the car, then the car really isn't for sale, right? Because you're still in the process of negotiation when you're doing a live appraisal and let the end user go through the bitter fatigue of being the, the, the last bidder and then finding out that he did or didn't get it. There's all sorts of uh, things that, you know, overlook a, a willing buyer's uh, profile when you do that, right? So our tools built specifically do be an end-to-end tool. Prior to trade, let a consumer do their research and get a, a realistic evaluation that isn't just data-driven, but it's actually driven based on somebody's able to write a check, right? So it's not a, a, um, a suggestional thing. It's a transact-able thing, right? Next, when it gets to the dealership, the vast majority of dealers, and it's not a criticism, it's just a simple evolutionary reality that um, dealers do not have, uh, um, let's call it a, uh, a, a real process that enables them to communicate with a consumer all of the VIN-specific details and then rationally show them what they're getting for their car. And when a dealership actually uses that, they wind up owning, just one step off to the right here real quick, when do you make profit? When you, when you acquire or when you sell? Of course, obviously, everybody knows the answer is when you acquire. If you pay too much when you bought it, you already lost money when you sell it, right? So in 